Hi everybody, Melissa Johnson speaking. Um, I am of course the Principal Psychologist and the Director at Thriving Mind Psychology Clinic located here on the Sunshine Coast. And we are making use of the sunshine today and we are down at a park. And I thought I might just duck aside to do my vlog to you today um, while I have a chance. I of course didn't plan that. Um, so I don't have my headphones, so I'm hoping that the sound is okay. So, welcome to vlog 22 of the 90 day vlog challenge. Um, and just so that you know everybody remembers, we I have taken on a 90 day vlog challenge in order to really promote or to try and reduce the stigma around mental health and also to demystify the field of psychology. So just getting out there, talking about different um, topics in psychology and hopefully giving a bit of information in the meantime. So today I, um, the topic of this vlog is just say yes and does this relate to parenting? So you might have, you might remember that um, last Sunday I did a vlog around just saying yes um, and that was around um, sort of saying yes to our own obstacles, our own things that you know we maybe haven't tried before, doing something new or things that we've been putting off or, or even you know things like going to to have a coffee with a friend. So, and I really talked about just saying yes and stepping outside your comfort zone and doing something new, even though you know you might not be familiar with it or you've never done it before. Um, but I hadn't really considered the idea around, does this relate to parenting? And I'm talking about this for, for two things that have come up this week that have been quite interesting. One of my um, amazing colleagues, Dr. Um, Tess Crawley, all the way from Tasmania is also vlogging. She's doing a 90 day vlog challenge and she's about two thirds away through hers. And the other day she did a vlog about um, being fun and being spontaneous and sometimes just doing things outside of our normal routine. It was a great blog, but she also mentioned some stuff that she'd seen on Facebook around some stuff going around about just saying yes as a parent, um, even if it's just for one day. So everything that your child asks for, you just say yes. Um, and I thought that was quite interesting. I hadn't actually seen that on Facebook yet, um, but lo and behold, the next day, of course, what popped up on my Facebook feed was around this idea around just saying yes to parenting. So I thought I might have a talk about this um, and I, I really, I, I'm not really sure what I think about it. I'm, I think it just depends on what you're comfortable with and what you feel like you want to try. Um, I, I definitely feel in terms of parenting, it's really important to have boundaries and structure um, in general because of course that's what helps our kids feel safe it's predictable they know what to expect they were less likely to have less likely to have behavioral issues um thank you to my live um my live viewer if you don't mind could you just tell me whether or not um put in the comment section whether you can hear me okay i don't have my earphones in and i'm just a little bit concerned that um the sound's not that great um so whether this relates to just say yes so yes, I do think that kids need boundaries. I do think that they need um, structure. I think it's really important. It helps um, reduce the likelihood of behavioral um, issues. It helps them feel safe, secure. They know what to expect. So when I was reading this idea around, just say yes, even if it's for one day, I've got to be honest, it made me feel a little bit anxious and uncomfortable in my own parenting, um, not in general. And that's just because that's just the way I am. Um, I like to be structured, I like to be planned, I like to be ordered. Um, so to be honest, it's not something that I think I could do in terms of just saying yes every single day or all day just for one day even. Um, because for me, it would feel like chaos. My kids would probably have icy poles at 7.30 in the morning for breakfast and that would be the start of the day and it'd probably be downhill from there. Um, However, if this is something for you, if this is something you have tried before or you would want to try, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear the outcome because the reality of it is them having icy poles at 7.30 in the morning probably isn't that bad. It's just one day. It's just one day of saying yes to everything and I'm sure they'd have a great time. And I'm sure actually I'd probably have a great time. Life would probably be a little bit easier. Um, but it did get me thinking, is it possible that we automatically 
um, say no? Is it possible that we can get so caught up in our ideas around I have to, I should, I must, you know, we're almost on this rat wheel every day. Come on, let's get up, let's have breakfast, let's get dressed, let's get out the door. Um, got to get to school on time, got to get to work on time. Okay, let's get home. Okay, hurry up, we need to have dinner, we need to have bath, we need to get to bed, we need to do homework. And this, all this pressure of have to, shoulds and musts at certain times and in a certain way. And we do that quite automatically because that's our routine. Um, but I wonder if sometimes that does lead to us automatically saying no when our kids ask for something. And it got me thinking around, I probably do this often. I can probably be quite guilty of just saying no automatically without actually considering what it is that the kids are asking for. And what happens is they feel disappointed and upset. They probably have a bit of a meltdown. And then halfway through the meltdown, I ask myself, why did I say no? Um, I really don't care whether they did or they didn't. I didn't really consider what they were asking and I just automatically said no because I was so caught up in doing what I needed to do or you know, worrying about getting dinner ready or, or having dinner on the table at a certain time. So this is what I'm taking out of it. I'm not gonna say yes for one day for everything. But I am going to try and be more considerate and mindful of my answer. So when they make a request, I am going to try and ask myself, is this something I really want to say no to? Do I really care? Does this really matter to me? Um, does it really matter if I say yes or no? And if it's not, then I'm probably just going to have a go at saying yes and see how that goes. Okay, so that is my vlog for today. Um, I'm not sure that I've really given you a whole lot of information. It was just a bit of a thought around this just say yes idea and what my thoughts are around whether that relates to parenting. Some people are gonna embrace that idea and love it and it's gonna work for them and that is fantastic. But people like me, I'm not gonna do it. Um, but I am gonna take something out of it. I am going to try and say yes more to things that don't really matter. I'm gonna try and be more mindful about being caught up in that um, you know, shoulds, have to, must, rush, 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 and, and really ask myself, is this really something that I need to say no to or I want to say no to? Is it something I really even care about? Is this just an automatic reaction? I'm gonna try and say yes um, to those things more often. Okay, I hope you are all having a lovely Sunday. I hope the volume has been okay for you. Um, I shall see you tomorrow. Please, of course, like or love if you have enjoyed this. Um, and don't forget, there's never been a better day than today to take the steps to having your thriving mind and your thriving life. Bye for now.